here we have the signal generator running at 125 kilohertz I don't know if you can read it but there's a better frequency counter than what's actually on it reading 0.1250 megahertz, so 125 kilohertz. So my signal generator is not too far off. It's connected through a 150 ohm resistor to this semi-randomish coil of wire. I didn't take any particular count of the number of turns that I put on it. And then you can see the oscilloscope probe connected to the circuit. Let's get this other extraneous stuff out of the way to this coil. <clears throat> and then there's the signal on the oscilloscope. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up. It's really blooming badly on the on the phone screen, but I think you can see my sine wave on there and it's set for 5 millivolts per, uh, per centimeter, but uh, Scope probe is uh, times 10, so it's actually 50 millivolts. And you can see 50 millivolts peak is what I've got there. And then this is an RFID ID badge, which uh, if we hold it up to the light, you can see the coil that's inside of it. If you watch carefully while I set it on the coil, if you watch the scope screen, you see it pick up because it's an untuned coil and I'm adding the tuned circuit that's in the ID badge so the voltage rises. And if I get enough coupling, you'll see a separation you'll see two levels so I've got it on there now and now I'm gonna change the frequency of this to a lower setting so we can see the modulation that's on there it's not really locking into the modulation but you can certainly see it And so what we're looking at now is uh, 100 millivolts peak on the signal and uh, about 50 millivolts difference between the peaks and the bottom of the signal that's being reflected back from the RFID tag. So this is a simple, quick and dirty proof of concept. It seems to be working. Um, we can uh, play with the uh, number of turns that are on that coil, on that transmitter coil, and maybe the resistance uh, in between, and possibly uh, have two coils on the, uh, the reader side, one being a transmitter coil and the other one being the receiver coil, and read the signal off of that. The concept behind that being that uh, the resonance of the RFID tag would increase the coupling between the two coils and may perhaps give us a more dramatic effect and gives a higher voltage uh, a higher raw voltage coming out of that secondary coil